Hi, this is Rachel from Gentle Frog. In today's video of QuickBooks Training, I'm going to show you how to record a deposit when the sale has been made through a processor such as Stripe or PayPal and the fee is taken off the top before it goes into your bank account. So I'm using my sample QuickBooks file, so I want you to play along and pretend with me for a little bit on this. We're going to say, for example, we made a sale and there was a 3% fee taken before the money hit our bank account. On the left hand side of our screen, we're going to click on new and then we'll go down to sales receipt and we'll make a sales receipt. So for this, we'll, we'll call it Stripe customer. So save. Um, we'll say that this is on 415. This is important. We're going to say the money is being deposited to an account called undeposited funds. For those of you who don't know what undeposited funds, it's essentially like a, it's a temporary place where the money goes. So we're going to say this money goes from my Stripe customer into a placeholder account and then out of the placeholder account into my bank, which is essentially what happens when you sell through something like Stripe. Um, Stripe collects the money from your customer, they hold on to it for a minute, and then they send it over to you. So we're going to sell a bathtub because I really would like to get a bathtub and that's on the brain right now. Uh, this imaginary bathtub is $200 and save and close. So you might enter the sales receipt yourself or your merchant service, your merchant processor, Stripe, PayPal, whatever, they might enter that for you. It's the second step that I really want to show you how to take care of. When you look at your bank statement, you're going to find that you got paid less than the $200. So we said that this is going to be a 3% cut. So we're going to pretend that you received $194 in your bank. And so when you look at your bank um, downloads, and I don't have an example download, you would see received $194. So what I want to do is show you how to connect that sales receipt with the money you've received from your, your processor. In the upper left hand corner, you'll click on the button for new. Under the column for other, you'll go to bank deposit. It's going to deposit into, in this case, the checking account. And then it's going to be Stripe customer. Just ignore the other stuff from old videos that I haven't gotten rid of. So Stripe customer paid us $200, and right now QuickBooks believes the deposit into our bank account will be $200. But you and I both know that's not true. We know that we lost some money to the fees. So down here at the bottom half of our deposit, it says received from, uh, we're just going to say Stripe. Um, I'm going to say Stripe vendor because I want them to show up on the vendor list. This is just my own preference. Later, I'm sure I'll make a report and I'll need it to be set up properly. So the account, where's the money coming from? Well, it's not really coming from anywhere. It's going to an expense account. So the expense account or the reason we're losing money is merchant processing. Uh, merchant service fees is what I'm going to type. This is an expense. And save and close. So you might choose to use bank fees, you might call it credit card fees, you, you might call it credit card processing fees, whatever you call it is just fine as long as it's logical and it makes sense to you and it makes sense to your tax preparer. Over to the right where the word amount is, you want to make a negative amount, $6. So I'm going to say negative $6. So on 415, I collected $200 from Stripe customer. I lost $600 to Stripe for the reason of merchant fees, and I'm depositing into my bank account $194. Click Save and Close. If you want to verify that this is done the way you expected, you can always look at your profit and loss. So on the left hand side of the screen, if you go to Reports, and then you select Profit and Loss, and we're just going to isolate the date for 15. And we're doing that because I want to show you this one transaction. I'm going to say run report. Apparently I had more than one transaction in here. But let me click on this so I can make it bigger. 
so I can see I collected $200 um, from my bathtub customer. If I go back to report summary, I can see that I lost $6 in merchant fees and that I had other stuff going on, so then I had a negative net income. But you get the idea. So this may not come up very often, and, and maybe your situation isn't Stripe. Maybe it's something more like somebody's paid you via wire transfer. You've received the money, but you lost $30 or $40 to wire transfer fee. You would do the same thing we just did. You would go to the new. Under the column of other, you would click on bank deposit. You would click off the person who paid you money. So we'll pick this person, and then we'll say Bank America, because that's who I have in here. Um, and then bank charges and fees and then minus $30. So in, if somebody paid you $220 via wire and the bank took $30 for wire fee, so you only received $190, that's how you'd record it. Let me know if you have any questions about reducing the deposit amount. I really want this to make sense for you guys. If you have questions, post them in the comment section, or if you wanna work with me one-on-one, -on -one, just show me what you have, I'm happy to help you. I offer appointments in as little as 15 minute time blocks, so you don't need to book an hour um, or two hours or worse. So whatever I can do to help you, please don't hesitate to let me know. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.